Hello, everybody. Well, you all know I haven't done lives for some time. Um, it's really not my thing. So welcome. I see people coming on. Um, I think my husband's going to be, he knows I'm pretty um, livid about right now. So I'm sure my husband's going to be be joining. So I see people coming on right now. Um, I've been kind of pushed to my limit. Anybody else been there? Anybody else feeling that too? Probably are. Okay. Give you guys just a couple more seconds. Like I said, I don't do lives. Um, I actually just got back on Facebook. I've been kicked off for some time. So I'm apparently I'm back on again. Um, but I want to deal with a few issues right now. And I think it's going to help a lot of, a lot of people that seriously want to see the church restored. Um, I think you're really going to love what I have to say right now. You're going to want to share this. Um, cause I'm just not going to pull any punches right now. I'm, I'm just not actually, I'm going to throw a few punches. Mrs. Unbreakable is on live now. I mean, it takes a lot to tick me off. I am very even killed. Um, I'm not an emotional, I'm very passionate person, pa passionate preacher, but you don't see me come on lives and be all emotional because it's just not my thing. I really wait for the leading of the Holy Spirit. That's why you're not seeing me come on here doing all of this stuff. But if you do go to the website, Let's see who's trying to get a hold of me. If you do go to the website at truthandloveministries.org, I've been posting now words, some very serious um, teachings and prophetic words from the Lord. Okay. The last one I put up yesterday was on Pied Pipers, Pied Piper Prophets. All right. So listen, Here, here's what I want to tell you is we've got like a major infiltration going on on all levels. It's in the church. It's in Christian businesses. It's there literally evil has infiltrated. Like probably I've never seen it before. I've never seen evil disguised in the ways I'm seeing it now. Okay. And I see it. Trust me. I'm seeing it 100%. I am watching ministries literally become just knock down to nothing because wolves and I don't even like to call them wolves and sheep's clothing. Like seriously, I hope I have these comments on because I know my husband is, is trying to get on the camera. So I don't know if I even can see comments or what's happening. Swipe left. Okay. Somebody send a comment if you're there. Okay. There it is. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now I see him. So now I'll see if my husband comes on. You're welcome. I want to be as honest as I can get right now. So you're going to definitely want to share this video because I'm about to open up a can. And this woman is not a swear. That's not my thing. So I almost felt a little like guilty putting the picture up. I just put up on Facebook, opening up a can of you know what. But some people really need to be kicked in their can right now. Fake Christians like all over the place. My husband was the first one to coin that term before President Trump said fake news. All right. So here we go. Right. I'm just going to bring it, bring it home to home for you right now. And I'm going to touch on a few things. I'm so sick and tired of hearing all of these interviews with prophets talking about the glorious visions from heaven and the return of Trump. And well, first of all, Trump didn't go anywhere. He is the real president. So that's a given, but I want to ask a question to the church right now. How is all of this helping any of you right now? When you get to hear all of the visitations and all of the um, words from all of these, there's some, some of them are right on, trust me. But sometimes I do believe, I know, I do believe some of the things that we're shown um, are not to be given to the entire world on interviews, but for us to pray for them and, and to pray it through. And pray God's kingdom come on earth as it already is in heaven. So we know he's already the president in heaven. Earth hasn't 
hasn't gotten it through their thick leftist and you know woke brain that he still is the president instead of putting a pedophile in there but that's another subject so when you are constantly declaring to the sheep these visitations and what's going to happen with trump what it does is it takes your focus off of what you need to be doing in your own soul and in your own family do you understand what i'm saying so we have to ask what time is it what time are we in trump is not going to save the church i love the man god has called him anybody's watched any of our stuff i don't even need to say all that but he's not going to save us you know what's going to happen is if we don't pull it together quick we're really going to blow it and so what the enemy is doing right at this moment and this is not hearsay this ministry is a leadership ministry so we get called into different organizations or different churches um for different reasons okay so i'll just keep that keep that blanket statement but when we're called in you better believe that truth is going to come through if you read john 18 what what did pilate say to jesus he said to him so are you a king and what did jesus say he said you're right when you say i'm a king but watch what he says he says i was born to speak the truth see see nobody's going to want to interview or listen to or follow truth tellers like i'm talking about people that rightly divide the truth and call can really call you out on your schemes and your games nobody wants someone like that in their camp if they're trying to actually hide something you understand that right everybody wants to hear the hr fluff and stuff and the feathers and the colors and the starched collars and the peacock prancing ac across platforms all those fun charismatic uh visitations everybody wants to hear that that's what gets you all of the followers right i don't know about i don't know about anybody listening right now but i'm not looking for followers i'm really looking to make disciples that's where my heart's at and that's where my husband's heart is at so if we we've got to start making disciples of people i i, I certainly i certainly encourage you to go to my website because the revelation i got on pied piper prophets do you know thousands of, i'm about ready to I'm, I'm this close to start calling them all out i i really am i really am because today i think of all days and i know it's a lot of inner i know it's intercession i get it because i'm not a victim but boy do i feel like one and when you're an intercessor you actually have feelings for what god's people are going through and I told my husband this morning, I'm so sick and tired of being um, victimized by this tax company that I, I called out on, on social media. We've got, trust me, evidence, I mean, messages, email, everything. I'm just holding back right now because I've given this guy chance after chance after chance because there's something so deep that has been infiltrated in so many of these so-called Christian businesses and Christian churches it is so demonic and i've asked asked the lord where is their discernment where's the church's discernment why can they not see i, I mean i get sent so much stuff from some of these preachers too and I'm, i and from people that i love i'm like don't they see what i'm seeing in this guy or this girl like don't they see it why how could they possibly not see it and that's why i wrote and posted what i did yesterday on our website because the lord said their soul gina when the soul is wounded when somebody's got a specific area you know there's one um you know that's it her name is kelly marie i'll just call it out she came against our ministry what three years ago it, it's a long story trust me but she came to us and we tried to help her as she was on with married men in the middle of the night zooming and eating m m's and telling people they're warriors and how to work out T total hypocrisy with thousands of dollars in her paypal account thousands of dollars as people are the hannah's she's reaching the hannah's the spirit of hannah that you're waiting for your boaz listen let me tell you right now if you do not hear from the lord on your own and you've got open wounds because god has still not answered your prayer and it's now turned into 
different soul ties that you've not dealt with, you will literally fall for Pied Piper profits. I guarantee you, you'll, you'll fall for them. We all have got to make sure we're searching our soul and getting the healing that we need because you will fall for this stuff. But we are literally in the middle of so many different things. I've watched lately, just recently, a ministry completely disintegrate, not from the outside in. Oh no, from the inside out. And my husband and I over and over and over and over and over for months attempted to communicate what we saw going on. And it was just, oh, they're just, you know, they just need healing. Then get them the hell out of ministry if they are so wounded because those open wounds will bring in hell. And sure enough, it was completely infiltrated, mantle stolen, hostile takeovers. I mean, that's all I kept hearing from the Holy Ghost is this is a hostile taker, takeover. This is a hostile takeover. Other things we're involved in, we're, we are literally witnessing hostile takeovers. I see it. And I'm telling you, I'm about to open up some stuff publicly because I'm, I know people are following some of these, these leaders and, and more than that, they're giving, they're sowing their money into it. It is so incredibly dangerous what I see going on with the church right now. And, and, and I'm the first one to say, I mean, read my book. I'm the first one to say what God has called Trump to do hundred percent and what all of these these, this death poison that people are running to and putting in their body. We've been saying for a long time what this agenda is all about. So, so I'm not, I'm not saying what, what I'm saying is if we keep our focus on all of that, we are sincerely going to miss what God is attempting to show each and every one of us right now. If, if you do not protect your soul and protect yourself, you too. Didn't the Bible say, doesn't the apostle Paul say that even the elect, even, I think my husband's texting me, I've been requesting you on Facebook to bring me on. I'm not sure how he's requesting me, be, but um, I don't see it. So hold on. If anybody's seeing my husband trying to request, um, thank you, Jesus. Uh, so sorry, you guys. Oh, there he is. Thank you. I think I just added him. So just a minute, my husband, come on. He knows I'm like, I'm stirred up like nobody's business right now. Like I am stirred up right now. So let's get him on. Thank you, Jesus. My sweet husband, he's just like, are you sure you want to do this? I'm like, oh, you have no idea. I'm so tired of the victimization. Hold on and make sure he sees that I'm adding him. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Cut it up. Like wanting to be on with me, so. Okay. All right. I don't know if he's able to see that, but anyway. Okay. So the bottom line is, you guys, listen. What's, what happens when somebody is sexually abused, physically abused, they're bullied, they're afraid to say anything. And I'll tell you why. There's a few reasons why people are actually afraid to say something. They're afraid to actually say anything because the church or religious spirits say that's not godly to call people out. That's not you should. But listen, if you are privately, privately um, holding these people accountable, but they avoid you, they do not speak to you and they don't respond to you then you're continually watching other people get victimized by these ministries. Someone's got to step out and someone's got to say something to them, right? You've got, someone's got to expose it. So it, it, if, if we're all focused on all of these, these prophecies that are going on, you are absolutely going to miss what God is trying to do in your household and what he's trying to do in us personally. Do you understand what I'm saying? That the church is going to, is if we're not going to be able to save America, we are not going to be able to save um, uh, our own children and the legacy. If we, if we don't figure out what God's trying to do in each and every one of us, does that make sense? You guys, I mean, I hope that makes sense to you.
I hope that absolutely makes sense to you. So I'm starting to call stuff out because these Christians are leading people astray. And I am literally seeing the love of money. The love of money is the root of the evil of everything that I'm seeing right now in people. Like everything I'm seeing in people, it is the love of money. Do you understand that? Like that is the root. If you deduct everything and you get down to the bottom line. So you can now go to people's websites and you can subscribe. You, you can subscribe and pay. You can pay three different monthly increments in order to access them and in order to access their material and their videos. You know what that's called? That's absolutely called a hireling. That's what it's called. That, I mean, it literally is called a hireling. Can you even imagine? And people are falling for it. They're subscribing to these Pied Piper prophets. So I'm going to hit something else now. You ladies ready for this? So husbands, if you're listening to this, you need to understand what this kind of intercession means when, when somebody's feeling something, what the intercession actually means, okay? Hold on just a second. I don't know why my husband's like having so much trouble getting on, but he is. Okay, well, I keep adding him, but I think he's missing the ad, so bless his heart. But anyway, okay. Hold on, you guys. Thanks for being patient with me. Well, honey, if you're listening, um, I don't see your name anymore to be added. So you have to have your name here for me to add you. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So are you watching any of these men, ladies, um, on some of these platforms? Men, are you watching some of these women prophesying on the platforms? And they are in the tightest clothes you've ever seen, okay? It literally is defining every single muscle and every single body part, so either male or female. You're looking at the starched collars up the neck, the tight pants, and they're prancing up and down the platforms. And has your, ever mind, has your mind gone to any level of seduction looking at them? It just, see, nobody wants to preach this stuff. Nobody even wants to answer. Um, and nobody even wants to address this. If you're sensing that, it's called a spirit of lust. And it's called a spirit of seduction. And when somebody is giving that, uh, that, that air and that persona off on their lives or on their um, platforms, it is because that is exactly what they're into. Guarantee you that you cannot exude a spirit of lust and seduction and other people are watching you and seeing that. And then you can't seem to, you know, you can't seem to figure out why, why you're feeling that when you're watching them. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I am seeing this on quite a few of the pretty well-known prophets right now and feeling that spirit of lust. Now, not in me, but I mean, I, I can see it on them. So the question is, why are they giving that off? What's going on? What's going on that they're, they're lusting like that? Okay. Brian, if you're watching, you need to, you need to, um, you know, add yourself or suggest to be added. Cause I don't see you asking, like you have to be on here to, to do that, honey. So I've done it a couple times for you. Okay. My poor husband's like really trying to get on here. So, cause I know he's got a few things he wants to say as well. Um, so, honey, I'm going to give it one more chance to see that you're trying to add, okay? All right. So, if you're seeing that in these leaders, because that's exactly what's going on. Now, there's, a, there's something my husband's taught me when he's gone into the ring and he's getting ready to fight. This is what he has told me. And when I've gone, you know, when I get ready to preach or go onto a platform, I don't want anybody talking to me. I'm focused. I don't want any distracting spirits before I get up there and preach. And Brian will say the same thing. He's getting ready to go into a fight. And all of a sudden people start texting him or calling him or saying something. What it does is it totally takes your focus off of the fight, off of getting in the ring and you can get killed. Okay. So when you understand that concept of warrior mentality, my question is, 
is when all of these teachers and prophets are getting your focus on their posts on Facebook that are like 20 pages long. I mean, it's literally going to take you all morning to read their visions or what they're getting or what they're saying. And what it does is that takes your focus off the fight. What is the fight right now? The fight right now is for your family. The fight right now is against the Gestapo agenda to get you poisoned and think that you just have to comply and there's really nothing wrong with it and it's safe for you to do it anyway. Um, if you don't pay attention to what God is trying to talk to you and your family about, you're going to fall for all of these Pied Piper prophets. Do you understand that? And you're, you're going to lose the fight. You will lose this fight right now. If the Apostle Paul says even the elect can be led astray, then that means you. That means me. We can be led astray unless we deal with the soul ties and the open wounds within our spirit, okay? So please pay attention and get your focus off all of the other distractions. Get before the Lord and ask him, you know, who are these Pied Piper prophets? Pay attention to what they say. I'm going to give you some key things so you know. Okay, honey, I just added you. So if you're watching, you should be seeing it's waiting for you to accept the ad. <laughs> okay. Um, if you watch some of these Pied Piper prophets, just pay attention. We don't need any spiritual covering. We don't need anybody but Jesus. He's the only one we need. Well, when you understand what the word of God says, that there's safety in a multitude of counselors, there's specific people that you keep that in your circle that you're able to, that know your character, they know your strengths and they know your weaknesses. And those are the ones that you want to speak into your life. If you close them out, you will be a renegade all on your own and you're going to lead other people astray. Okay. And then when somebody comes on and they are asking you to subscribe to their network or subscribe to what they do, that is called a hireling and that is witchcraft. Okay, that's witchcraft. People should be giving to your ministry if they feel led of the Lord to support what you're doing. Do you understand that? So you, all this kind of manipulation has just gotten out of hand. You guys are all gonna be really surprised at some of the top leaders right now that you are watching on all of these networks that their hands are actually in sin Okay, and they know that there's information on them and they know it's about ready to get found out. This is all going down. I've even got have some people contacting me, some of these people. And as soon as they contact me, they don't follow through, though. After they speak to me, that's it. They don't follow through. I really wonder why. I really am wondering why. What's there to be scared of the truth? What, what, or, or are you just trying to get a hold of me for information on what I know so that now you can know it too, and then you can be one of the people that exposes? See, see th these motives of some of these prophets and some of these teachers and some of these business owners are all being exposed right now, you guys. So I, I'm, I'm going to strongly encourage you to just focus on the Lord right now. You need to shut some of this stuff off and really listen to the Lord and make sure that you're not in sin and make sure that you're not being led astray by some of these Pied Piper prophets. Again, go to the website and, 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 and listen to this. But I'm done. I am about to open up a can on a lot of this stuff going on. Today, the Lord really has shown me, literally even in sex trafficking, that some of the people that are getting involved are actually doing it themselves and they're pimping women and they're pimping their associates and their assistants and they're even pimping them in other ways. He has shown me the various ways some of these assistants, secretaries um, are being pimped out. But I, again, I've literally seen ministries disintegrate all because of men and women that are not healed and that are busy on social media peacocking themselves all over the place and trying to get attention. And guess what? They're getting so much attention that they're literally blowing up the ministries that they're in the middle of. They're falling apart because the leaders have soul ties with them. 
because they've been friends for so long that they will not hold them accountable and tell them they need to sit down. So go ahead and allow these people next to you because guess what they're going to do? They're going to steal your mantle, steal your money, and steal your reputation. And then what's that going to do? That's then going to cause the people of God that are watching these high profile uh, ministries and preachers and businesses, it's going to cause them to lose their faith. I didn't say their salvation. It's going to cause them to lose their faith. And then we got to come and scoop them all up because you idiots have caused so much pain in these people because you don't follow through, you don't communicate and you're just causing nothing but, but problems for people. Do you understand that? I mean, I don't know, you guys. I The Lord's doing something in me. Waited all of these years. Boy, honey, I've been trying to get you on for some time. I'm so sorry, honey. You know, my social media expertise is not in the in the oh. realm of on Facebook. Yeah, so the realm. I can do it all. But jumping on Facebook lives and for some it's reason, okay. it's not it's, my specialty. It, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you were able to come on. But... I'm just letting you know that the bottom line is everybody needs to pay attention to their ministries right now and their friendships because there are Judases that are literally right next to them. And because they've been friends for so long and because, and not only because they're friends, but some of them owe them something and some of them have actually have information to blackmail them. There's three reasons why some of these leaders are not dealing with these Judases that are next to them. I'll say it again. Number one is because they have a soul tie, meaning they've, they've been friends forever, and so they're not going to hold them accountable. They're like, oh, they've always been like that. They've always put their boobs on camera. They've always, they've always um, acted like that. Or no, You know what? The time for that is done because these people are not only going to steal your ministries but they're they are also going to bring open portals of demonic attacks into your into your situation so that's the one thing they're friends soul ties i've started this whole video soul ties are what cause all these problems the second thing is you owe them something so you won't let let them go the third thing is they actually have some information on you that's what the holy spirit told me so unless we stand up and expose some of these people and some of these ministries, they're going to hurt more and more people. And then, honey, I told them is what I'm sick and tired of seeing is all of the information going on about the third heaven experiences with the prophets. You live with me, honey. You know. I, am I having them every day? Am I having them every day? Yeah. Okay. Do I go on Facebook and tell everybody? No. 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 Why? Because what value is my experience in the secret place with the Lord? What value is that going to give every one of our listeners or our partners? How is that going to help them when they're being forced to put poison in their arm at work and they have to make a decision what to do? Should I stay? Should I go? How is my third heaven experience going to help them? Right? How are we going to help this information? We're not. So I've got to ask myself, why are those the interviews that are going? Why? How, how come nobody wants to hear true, sound teaching that is full of truth and revelation and prophetic insight? You know why they don't want to hear it? Because it's going to expose what's in them. Yeah, a lot of them are just doing it for the attention right now to get exposure and notoriety and, and to... Uh puff themselves up that's what it's that's what it's all about this is social media is exposing a lot of people for what they are and who they are so you just if you've been doing it for a while and you got any discernment you're going to figure out who's who who's doing it for attention who's doing it for likes who's doing it for to gain money or financial gain or or whatever gain self gain uh you know for their pride and ego so that's that's what that's for so yeah 100 percent charismatic uh it's just this charismatic witchcraft that's going on and that's what people want that's what they're entertained by they're entertained yeah. by what the women are wearing or the false lashes or the you know what they look like i mean th this is i'm so sick and tired of seeing the church fall 
for all this kind of propaganda. They're, they're so they're so puffed up by this mirage that they can't see the truth. And the truth is, we can't get people to call us back. We be evil. We say this is what we're seeing. And weeks and weeks by, nobody answers you. Nobody wants to deal with it. They People say they're warriors, but they got tails between their legs. Or like you say, they got frog balls, some of these men. That's what yeah. you say. And here. They're not really not warriors. They say they're here to fight for the victims and to rescue those that are being victimized. But at the same time, because they sit on their butts and do nothing about it, they're allowing more and more victims to take to, to be held captive. And then eventually you end up losing your ministry. Someone else takes it over because they believe that you, you know, they believe that you're the one that doesn't know what you're talking about. But people bring us in, Brian. This ministry gets brought. We are, we are a threat to people because they think we want to take over their churches. They think we want to take over their ministries. But what they don't understand is what we want to do is take over the strongholds that are in their souls and tear those strongholds down and get them set free so they can get on their destiny. If, if we wanted to start a church, we would have started a church a long time ago because Pardon my expression. This sure as hell doesn't bring in any money. What no. you and I do. Yeah. No. You know. And it's not about that. I mean, of course. Uh, you know, everybody needs to make money, hit the paycheck. I got a job, all that stuff. I'm not. We're not hurting for money financially, so we're not having to beg for financial partners and followers. If you want to support us, yeah, that's great. We we're not going to turn turn it away. We're going to use it for a good to help other people. That's what we do. But at the same time, we're not here doing fundraisers, trying to raise money to or whatever. But I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell you that I'm just, I'm just going to speak from the heart. When you got these weird funky spirits walking around in these churches, come on. Come up to you males figures come up to you that are supposed to be heads of 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 organizations or leadership ministry and with this gay gay spirits come up to you asking telling you tell my wife oh i like your shoes what the hell what how did that weird sh crap creep up in here and why is it in the leadership ministry like people don't recognize it's true. do not recognize who's who has infiltrated your ministry yeah it's a it's about to it's about to get crazy and who's going to call this stuff out nobody's going to call will. it out we, we will I know we will, but nobody wants to offend and nobody else has discernment like this. I mean, come on, like sit your, sit these people down. Let's go individually and, and through the pecking order and let's figure out what the hell's wrong with each person in leadership and get right. them healed and get them whole and healed so that they can turn around and really help some people. Because otherwise, to, to me, the church looks like a uh, it looks like a messed up war zone of, of a mentally ill patients walking around in there. And I, I'm just being yeah. nice yeah. i'm being nice i'm being nice with that statement trust me it, it's a yeah. it's sheep that are that are to... hurt and people that we spoke with all yesterday the phone calls we took yesterday they're 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 looking for a place they're needing help and that all they're finding is a power plays and you know everybody wants to be famous and everybody wants to take over somebody's position and 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 i'm telling you I told them honey it's the the love of money is the root of all evil as i pray this and go through each person that god has highlighted to us you know um it, it, especially like this tax firm that i called out on our facebook you know bottom line is you know when when we're introduced to them and we had just gotten here to tennessee and needed a local cpa and we didn't have the funds to even pay and he offered, oh, one two hundred fifty dollars a month, and I fight for you. But what? I'll do your taxes for free for you. Oh, what? oh my goodness, that's so very kind. Thank you. Wait for the what? I want to pay two hundred fifty pesos for this guy. He's a horrible. He's a horrible communicator. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know if it's this Tennessee, but are there the worst communicators out here in the worst. world? Or is it just me, or is it just the? Is it just the world can't communicate right now? Like, it's wrong. Know. With people pick but, up the phone bigger than that it's bigger than that when you you when you can't even get your taxes mailed to you after they were done months ago you can't even but you have 
four assistants of women. What is this freaking Charlie's Angel? Like, what, what are you, the pimp CPA? It, it, uh, we have an assistant so that when we can't get our partner can't get to us, or she makes sure she's able to get to them what they need. Why do you have assistant when they can't even send a file via email? Like, no, there's this is a cover up. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna un, I'm gonna unfold this thing and figure out what in the world is being hidden because we are truth. And if people avoid us, it's because they don't want the truth. And if you don't want the truth, that means you are hiding something. That's the bottom line. And you, you and I are involved in so many things that we didn't get. They asked us in. They asked us. So now that you've got us, you don't know what to do with us now, do you? Right? I mean, you don't even know what to do with us because we're going to speak the truth and we're going to hold you accountable to what you think you're going to do. So, so the statement that came through. Uh, he couldn't even text us back. He had to text somebody else. Well, I did it for free, so I take their pain. I take my playing, paying clients first. What the? What? For five months? You can't just send our send us a file? Just send us a zip file? Just go on the computer and hit send? But you put it on Facebook? Oh, but the person that you told that to, you filed all of his taxes late. He pays you every month, but you told him, well, I give you a discount, so even though I filed late, you're going to have to pay those yourself you know what you're a hireling you're a prostitute and god is going to expose it and i'm and i am i'm sick and tired of all this so if i wouldn't have put that post up today someone was going to pay him 250 dollars today to hire him thank god i said something you saved at least you saved one person I yeah saved one person by coming out with the truth and i'm about to save more people on these on these pedophile prophets and these pied piper prophets i'm going to save you guys all the heartache of right now these checks you fill up their paypal accounts that they do nothing but quit their jobs and sit around on facebook you don't think god's ticked off about this you don't think he's mad i've been with him today he is mad he is mad about it and other christians won't do anything about it well let's just let the lord handle it how's that working now how's that working for everybody when they're calling our ministry devastated by the everything that's happening to them no i'm over it i'm over it and that's just what that that is not even the other businesses that we're dealing with and that's not the ministries we're dealing with it is i'm, I'm warning everybody we have been infiltrated so go ahead and watch all these fluffy profit interviews and get the goosebumps and oh that's awesome and that's what God said is going to happen. And, and Trump's coming back and praise the Lord. And the rapture's coming and good. I'm so glad everybody's excited about that. That's fantastic. Now, what about your soul? What about your own children? What about your own family? What about your own ministries? Are you, are you, are you dealing with that? Is your wife cheating on you? What's going on? Stay home and figure out what's going on because the whole family unit is being, is being busted up because everybody's focus is so into all of this other stuff and i will never get on here and start talking about my experiences in my in the quiet place with the lord unless he tells me it's going to help somebody i'm not yeah. doing here's, it here's the thing i'm gonna say about the the weak the weak warrior uh fake warrior um rapture people those are people that say that the raptures you know coming and not to do, for us just to pray and not do anything you guys are pretty much the problem of, of why the Christians sit on their butts, their hands on their, sit on their hands and not do anything. And the reason why this country and this world is in this, this mess is because the Christians have been so passive. They're waiting for the rapture. Meanwhile, the devil's still in, still in your children, still in your wife, still in your husband, still in your money, still, still, in, your ministries. still in everything from you while we sit back and be, oh, let me turn the other cheek. Let me do this. Uh, I mean, eventually one of these days, you're going to have to fight back. You're going to get mad enough to where you want to fight back. And Come on. We're, at, we're at that place. We're at that point. We're, we're not going to let people push around anymore. We're just going to put your ass on blast. We're going to put you on social media and call out we all the, the fake violent stuff that you're doing. And then maybe you'll respect this after that. Because in your business, whatever the hell your business is, you can't return a one phone call, email, text message, and not give us the time of day or respect that we deserve. And yeah, that, that that's, to, that's to put it lightly. Um, I'm going to say this, though. Um, before we before we get off of this, um, let's at least pray for these the people that are are watching this that have the respect for us. 
that we can uh, pray and cover them, that uh, that the, the will reveal who these wolves are in the living right now, who these, who these predatory preachers and uh, business people are that are out there just to make a dime or a dollar off of off somebody. So tell me when you're ready for that, and I'll and I'll uh, start it off. Okay. I'm not sure what happened to my volume, but totally lost my volume. But hopefully, you, can you hear me? Okay. Yep, yeah, I can hear okay. you. Okay. I can't hear you at all, so I don't know whose problem. I don't know where it went, but that's okay. All right. As long as our um, viewers can can hear, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we put hell on notice we take the authority granted us under the blood of jesus christ and we command every ministry every christian every christian business every church we now command every demon that's infiltrated those organizations those christian organizations to be caught now in jesus name red handed your hand in the cookie jar we command every thief to be exposed every pedophile to be exposed every pied piper prophet to be exposed may the motives of everybody's heart be made plain for all to see oh god we pray we pray that you would keep safe and protected and under the covering and the mercy of 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 the blood of jesus every innocent person caught in the crossfire those that have open soul wounds that have led to soul ties that have prayed the prayer of soul ties but it hasn't worked for some reason right i'm going to ask now lord that you protect them as they are working out their healing and their deliverance keep away every wolf every every uh wolf in sheep's clothing every snake that's trying to wrap around their feet wrap around their finances wrap around their destiny wrap around their health keep them safe and protected oh lord i pray for every rat to be exposed right now in jesus name lord start with your church i am not asking for the white house i am not talking about trump i am not talking about the i am talking about your church house expose it now flood it now lord let the water of the holy ghost flood into every temple because water will always flush out the sewer rats in the name of jesus so let the water flow and flush out every rat and expose every trap in jesus name i pray father god that the intercessors would begin to really see in their local churches the local businesses their families where they have been infiltrated and where these false Christians have come in on the inside. Literally, we know just like what's happening with the refugees in Afghan. They, it is happening in the churches. They've come in so close. They were not vetted. Their spirits were never tested. And now they've gotten so close that they are ready to do a hostile takeover. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that you expose all of it now. Keep your innocent people safe, oh God, I pray, in your mighty name. Amen. Can you hear me now or no? Amen. 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 I'm going to say this. Okay, I can't hear you, baby, so, okay. I'm going to say this. I'm going to pray for the days of Ananias and the Sapphira. Basically, let the... Let the fire of God come and consume this church and anybody that's doing evil, let them be exposed and let them be struck dead. If they took the ark of the covenant or they touch something that's not theirs and, and they have any, any evil and hit. I'm sorry. I think I just cut my husband off as he was praying this phone. I'm not sure what was going on. We pray that we were a blessing to you. Um, please, you guys stay focused on the word right now don't get distracted by all the prophecies and all the stuff going on please don't please don't it's just it, it's an attempt to raise up more superstars and we've seen what that's done in the past right raising up superstar prophets so god's not looking for superstars he's looking for truth tellers that will help deliver the souls of the people everything right now is about souls that's absolutely what everything is about you guys it isn't about anything else but about winning people's souls Okay, it's this everything we're dealing right with right now is God is is attempting through his people to deliver the souls of his people. 
to get them set free because many believers are being held captive, okay? They're literally being held captive. We've got to be about the souls. And if we start raising up superstars again, it's going to be nothing but trouble and it's going to lead the innocent astray. So, sorry, baby, you were praying and I believe I cut you off. Yeah, it cut me off. It's okay. I just wanted. I just wanted to say I'm praying for the days of uh, acts to, to happen, and then uh, when, when uh, the, that that uh, Ananias, who was, yeah, fire, fire, yeah, when they when they came in the church and they were struck dead, and that and then the the wife they asked the wife, well, what about you? And she lied too, and then she was struck dead. They carried them both out. <laughs> yeah, I'm praying for the I'm praying for those days to come back. I pray the holy fire of Amen. God comes in, puts it, Amen. puts a fire over all the good people innocent people and people just get start start being struck dead now that's that's my prayer no i'm sorry but I, I, that's my prayer stop, stop playing stop playing with the lives of people let the, let the fear of god be in these people now they're getting away with all this stuff they think it's everything's okay they don't fear god watch you're gonna see what happens you're gonna see what happens if you come against god's anointed come against the righteous the, the ones of the pure heart you're gonna be struck dead i'm calling it out right now I'm, watch what happens i'm with you i'm with you Hey, I love you. I'll see you in a few minutes. Love you guys. God bless you. Love you, Team Unbreakables. Thank you for putting up with us today. All right. Hopefully it was a help. Definitely go to our website, truthandloveministries.org. Truth of the Truth of the Love. Hey, Truth the Christians love need. Yeah. Hey, Christians need people like us because know who's fighting for them. Uh, we will fight. No. We will fight for them. And and that's why a lot of these leaders are staying away from us. These weak. These weak. Yep. Like Pastor Lock. Weak, lip wristed Christians with no backbone. Oh, these, we these love people. Lock, yep. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. He's the one I saw the shepherd's hook. Remember, I saw the shepherd's hook grabbing them and yanking them off the stage? Yep. Yep. Oh, they're going to be yep. yanked. They're going to fall dead at the platform. You want to keep prophesying for PayPal money? You're going to go. One one was already struck dead, and we know we'll talk about that at some other point. Oh, but yeah. yeah, remember? Yep. That one was struck dead. You're gone. So, you don't even know. Gotta go. We have been. Stopped. Love you. Okay, love you too, honey. We've been silent, but no more. We're about to open up a can next time. Trust me. Love you guys.